Hey guys, some gamer dude here. So here we are with the final Ava deck, the second half of the Asuka and Quaro deck, the Quaro deck. So we'll just get straight into it. Uh, I really like the previous three Evangelion set decks. I I'm really confident that there's not a dud in here. I hope Quaro doesn't let me down. So we start with our one cost one strength Quaro Nagasa, which is just a one cost pilot. The Guardian ability if it goes to your hand. It's literal filler garbage. Next up we have Quara and Shinji. Two cost, two strength. Guardian ability at the draw card. Pilot, when it fights it gives you a plus one. I think we've seen this card but better. Or pretty much the same already. Um, maybe this one has more applications because it's less uh, power giving and more power... Static, but um, yeah, this is uh, well, um, fairly underwhelming. Mari Makinami Illustrious, she's the new pilot for the Ava movies because this is based on the movies, not the series. And I'm um, actually surprised I didn't notice that she hadn't turned up yet. Three cost, two strength, pilot of two, one is destroyed. Get an X card. Quest clear. All your butlers gain plus three strength when they attack. Uh, another quest clear card. I don't think quest clear suits red. I think it's more of a blue green type of deal. Maybe purple. But uh, red's too aggro for this type of ability. Uh, so yeah. And guardian ability you choose a butler and tap it. Maybe there is a red questing deck you can make. Which... Also leads into an aggro effect that you just want to win normally with. Very confusing card. Don't know what they're thinking. 4 cost 3 strength. Ava next gen test bed unit 4. Which I think is Mari's one. Uh, fast when it fights against plus 2 strength. And guardian ability to draw a card. Uh, actually fast... On a 4 cost for 3 that becomes a 5 is actually fairly decent. Usually cards with fast or haste or whatever are a bit on the weak side to counteract the fact they don't have summoning sickness. This being a just only 1 below and becoming 1 above when it attacks is actually fairly decent. I actually kind of like this card. It's not a, a really super interesting, great, uh, thought-provoking card. But it's a nice, solid card. Nice to meet you, Father. Again, with the strange names for card, uh, battle cards. Four cost, four strength, three to part, which is hefty. When it fights, it gains plus two strength. And you choose a battler and it loses minus two strength. That's actually a really good way for dealing with um, pilots, because a lot of them only have two strength. At least the more general application ones. This one's actually really hefty at 4. And it becomes a 6. I think that's actually really good for 3. It's also good for dealing with Sentinels. Uh, not that Red needs it. But uh, this one's solid. I don't think it's an amazing makes the cut card. But uh, it's solid. And a Guardian Body draws you a card. Quora Nagasa again. 5 cost, 3 strength, pilot of 3. Quest clear, choose a butler with four or less cost and return it to its owner's hand. Um, okay, it's not really the best for three for a pilot cost. It's kind of underwhelming. Um, again, red with quest clear. Would have liked to have seen it on purple, blue and green a bit more. And a guardian ability of when it's destroyed, choose a butler and return it to its owner's hand. Yeah. Lilith, the second angel. Five cost, seven strength. Taunt can't attack. Choose, tap it, choose a butler, and it gains minus three strength. That's interesting. That's, I don't think it really suits red. I really don't think, uh, it's interesting the taunt's in red, though. Oh, again, I really need to do the color pie video. But, um, it's an interesting card that doesn't really feel red. 
Ava Provisional Unit 5. That's Mara's one. So Unit 4 must be Quora's. 6 cost, 6 strength. Double breaker. Quest clear. Getting a lot of those. Choose a battle with 4 or less strength and kill it. Which, yeah, that, uh, that definitely has more applications. But again, it's an aggro card. Why are you going to use it for questing? I don't get it. I don't get this design. Um, it confuses me. Again, red is so aggro. Red's theme is aggro and sentinel destruction and getting to the jugular. Why is it bothering with questing? That's, again, more of a blue, green, purple type of thing. Next up, AV Unit 13. 8 cost, 10 strength. Triple Breaker, Taunt, when it comes out you choose a butler with Fiverless, Strength and Kill It, which, uh, Triple Breaker for 8, it's a big fatty, but it's 10, so it's not going to die easy. And it's got Taunt for all those quests clear, if you really must go questing in red, although, honestly, with something like this, um, well, they still can go for your jugular themselves, do you, it's more or less just having two victory conditions. But really, the best part of this card is the 8 cost 10 strength triple breaker that kills something when it comes out. Don't don't get the quest thing in red. I really don't. The Lance of Longinus and Spear of Cassius. Oh, sorry. Spear of Longinus and Spear of Cassius. They've changed it because it was Lance in the original dub. The only dub, the Netflix one is terrible. Four cost, all butlers with Sentinel die, and you get an EX card. Well, that deals with uh, blue and green quite easily, and a guardian ability it goes to your hand, which is pretty good. Uh, this is really good for just dealing with uh, Sentinels, and if your opponent just starts packing a lot of them, as I said, the blue green deck is obviously designed to do. This just goes, you die now. Uh, I, th I think this is, uh, considering it's not on a body, I, th I think this is a lot more tolerable than the AV unit one from the first deck. Next up, Mari again. Two cost, one strength. There's a lot more Mari than there is Quaru in this. Uh, pilot for one, quest clear, choose a butler and it gains minus two strength. So you can start dealing with a lot of the pilots um again because this is more of a green type of thing green blue i, I think this is fine guardian ability choose a butler with uh choose butler and give mana to strength which is fine which is fine mari again three costs two strength pilot one quest clear you get an ex card choose a butler and it gains plus five strength the ex card is the best part of this because, again, the fueling of Quest Clear. I actually think um, this deck m might honestly want to put a couple of cards questing that can fuel themselves. And then having those taunts. Because I think you need to speed up the victory condition. And um, about having two doing it it's a minimum yeah it's pretty hard on the old hand but uh yeah there's a uh, i think there's ways to do this the, the quest thing i think we're gonna have to play around with lilith again for cost for strength taunt and when she dies you get an ex card and as guardian ability you draw it sorry it goes to your hand um Fine, four, 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 and taunt, and when it dies, you get an EX. It's, it's unremarkable. Probably has its applications, but there's better things to play, in all honesty. Next up, we have Mari going berserk. Five cost, four strength, pilot of four, with lead, uh, leader of four, with uh, three, sorry, which is actually really good. I like the idea of piloting it for four and just continuously having the minus three to the next one. 
and as a guardian ability when she's destroyed, which is, it's alright likely, uh, she returns to your hand. Uh, I like her. Uh, I think the legion, uh, sorry, leader on um, Ava's pilots is actually uh, a pretty good inheritable ability. Shinji didn't expect to see him over here. Six cost, four strength, pilot four, sentinel, which is interesting. He gives out sentinel. And when he fights, he gains plus three strength. Which means the thing that you're giving uh, sentinel is beefy, uh, because of the four strength, and gets even beefier when it attacks. That's actually pretty hard to get through. And four strength natively means he's pretty hard to get around. And six costs normally. Again, pretty hard to get around. He's actually a fairly high quality pilot. That's a, actually a really interesting design and a really cool card. I think it's worth the full cost. And as a guardian ability, when it's destroyed, you choose a butler and it can't attack. Which at four, a uh, fairly decent chance for happening. Good card. Shinji, good boy. Ava Mark 6, which, God, i got to rewatch movie 3. I don't remember it being very interesting, though. Uh, 6 cost, 7 strength, double breaker, can't attack battlers, taunt, very boring card. Very bland, perfectly fine, boring. Ava Unit 2, Beast Form, second phase, type 1. What a name. 7 cost, 7 strength. Double Breaker, when it fights, it gains plus two strength, and Quest Clear, you get plus two time, which is actually an interesting Quest Clear ability, to be quite honest. Um, I actually think that's decent ramp. Um, I don't know why it wasn't in, why it wasn't a card in the uh, Asuka deck, or why this was AV Unit 2. But again, I don't remember the movies particularly well. Don't think the rebuild movies are particularly good, not like the original series. Second Impact, a six cost action card. All butlers gain minus five strength. Wow, that will clear the board. That's actually very close to a board wipe. And as a guardian ability, choose a butler and it gains minus three strength. Uh, blah. That will kill every single pilot on the board and a heap of the um, Avers afterward. That's that's pretty nifty. Our first extra card, AAA Vanda, two cost could be lowered fairly easily. Five strength, fast, can't attack, tap it. You choose a butler against plus five strength. I think they've deliberately set this up so that you can get it out free and then just disperse plus five per turn. It's an interesting card. Again, it's mostly to do with the leader ability. I like it. It's interesting. Uh, and uh, that is a typo. The tap ability should be in a green, uh, blue arrow. Ava Mark 6 and it's got a halo. Uh, 3 cost, 3 strength, fast, quest clear, draw a card. Oh wow, is that actually really good. Uh, quest clear that can draw you cards. Uh, really, really good. And at 3 cost, you can cheat this out really easy. I've already seen leader minus three very good next up ava unit 13 nine cost 11 strength so it's a big big girl fast quadruple breaker when it fights you discard a card and choose a butler and return to your opponent's hand which uh yeah that is worth discarding a card basically turning everything into unsummon without a cost is worth it um and when you don't have a hand left, you can just keep doing it. That's uh, really good. But with 11 strength and Ava and quadruple breaker, are they really going to be alive after the first thing, first time this thing attacks? Really? Next up, we have Evangelion Provisional Unit 5. 5 cost, 4 strength, fast. When it dies, you choose a butler and tap it, and all your butlers gain plus four strength, which is it's perfectly fine. It's not, not amazing, but it's fine. 
Again, you can trade it out for two fairly easy. You can trade it out for free if you wanted. It's a fine card that's not interesting or amazing. AV unit 8 beta. 7 cost, 6 strength. Wow! Leader minus 4. That really catches the eye. And double breaker and fast. But minus 4, huh? That's that's pretty hefty amount. That can really cheat some things out. AB Unit 2 Beast Form Second Phase Type 1. Our final card. 7 cost, 10 strength, fast, quadruple breaker. Uh, we definitely have better cards than that in here. So that's all the Ava decks. I think the Quarrel deck is the least interesting and least good of the lot. Uh, the Asuka and Quarrel decks definitely feel like an expansion pack to the Shinji and Ray decks. I think that's very, very noticeable. But I don't think they're bad. And I don't think any of the decks are unplayable. I think the good stuff is spread out enough. But I do think the Quarrel deck is of noticeably less um i guess quality than the others uh, i think that um i think it's definitely going for a quest deck and one that you want multiple questers out once and to get extra cards but uh, i just i'm not sure if i see it working i really am not uh, i think you have to kind of pace yourself into it and frankly i think just going balls to the wall uh, with normal red, the other decks half of red um, is probably the better strategy. It's quick, punchy, and does what you want it to do. This is slow and methodic, and it's probably not going to be very good. But uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, one dud out of four isn't the worst odds, honestly. And because of the way they've done it, I don't think it's a complete dud. I think the set as a whole, the constructed, looks really good. We'll talk about this more when I actually review the deck it's in a few months. Hopefully, again, I'm waiting for the uh, Ava sets to come in so I can just order those and the Naruto expansions together so I can just review all of them. But, um, yeah, this is pretty decent. I think the Ava sets are a significant step up from Godzilla, the step up we needed, and I think that uh, they might actually be a bit more interesting than the Naruto decks. I think they're a bit better made, to be honest. Anyway, uh, so I'm happy with it. That's all I really have to say on the matter for now. Hopefully, in a few months, I reveal it. This has been some Gamer Dude, and thanks for watching.